Hi, pipe smokers. This is Paul the Pipe Guy. That, that's Kelly the Cat. Yeah. Yeah. Paul the Pipe Guy, uh, live from the outskirts of Rochester, New York, in the United States of America. And it is Thursday. Yeah. You know it's Thursday because my pipes and cigars calendar says it's Thursday the, uh, yeah. What is, what is it? Thursday the. What the heck? I can't see through my glasses here. It's Thursday the 14th. How embarrassing. Yeah, my glasses get scratched up because I'm a welder and I grind stuff and these are my safety glasses. And I haven't cleaned them off after I got home from work. Uh, it's currently uh, 10 after 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and about 78 degrees outside and sunny yeah so I wanted to talk a little bit about smoking and oral health yeah now I've always uh, flossed twice a day yeah if you see this uh, I just shaved and I'm bleeding I cut myself I'm bleeding like a hemophiliac So anyways, what was I? Uh, yeah, so um, smoking and oral health. Uh, I've always uh, prided myself on having good dental hygiene. I brush my teeth at least twice a day. Uh, I floss at least once a day in the morning. <clears throat> Probably should do it before bed, but uh, my experience has been, uh, and I'm 57 years old, uh, my teeth are in great shape, but uh, what happened to me when I was 25 years old, which is 32 years ago, I had to have four wisdom teeth taken out. <clears throat> and what they did is uh, I had them put me to sleep and I said, I'm not coming back twice. You're going to do all four at once. And this was a oral surgeon. Long story short, um, they had to drill out a tremendous amount of jawbone on the two lower ones because the teeth were actually facing forward, the, the wisdom teeth. So what that did is that created pockets of lost bone. All right. So here we go. Fast forward 32 years later, and I am a cigarette smoker and a pipe smoker. Um, I've smoked cigarettes since I was 17. I've smoked on the average of 1.5 packs per day. And I want to share with you how this has impacted my life. Uh, with good dental, dental hygiene and so forth, the mistake I made is that I went about five years without uh, having teeth cleaning, uh, figuring, uh, brushing and flossing well. If you're a smoker, you should be in there every six months. I don't care if you smoke one or two bowls a day. The nicotine and that gets down into your gums and into the roots. And uh, what I'm faced with now, uh, I want to share with you so it might help you younger folks. Um, I have an abscess in my rear molar on this side, uh, which is very big. Uh, and an abscess in my rear molar on this side, which is medium size. So uh, what I have to do, uh, I have to go to, uh, on Monday, uh, the 18th, I, I took the whole day off. Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to extract the lower rear molar, which is very infected. You can probably see my cheekbone on this side is a little swollen. Uh, and that's been going on for a few years. I put it off. Uh, and uh, they suggested that this molar on top is fine, but because it's going to have nothing below it, they suggested taking that out too. Now, I have to go through this twice, all right? Uh, and then what they're going to do is they're going to do a, what's called a deep cleaning. And I have good teeth, all right? I only have three fillings, and I'm 57. Uh, I have very thick enamel on my teeth, but what has happened because of the nicotine and going a few years without going to the dentist, uh, it's 
built up an infection and plaque below the gum line and it's uh, starting to erode the jawline which is called periodontal disease. So the reason I'm making this video uh, is to share with you folks what, what I'm going to have to go through. Uh, so on Monday I, I get to go and they're going to extract the rear lower molar and the rear or the rear upper molar. Kelly, get out of the camera. Thank you. I love her. Um, and then uh, they do the deep cleaning where they go underneath your gum line and scrape all that bacteria and stuff from nicotine buildup. And then I get to enjoy doing that again on August 3rd where they do the same thing on this side, take the upper and lower molars out and do the same thing. Well, problem being, I'm a cigarette and pipe smoker. Not only am I going to lose four of my rear molars, all right, but I can't smoke for several days, and I've been a smoker for 40 years, all right. I did some research, and basically, uh, Based on the amount that I smoke just in cigarettes, which I should I should quit. Maybe this will be a, a thing to help me quit. Um, I take in 42 milligrams of nicotine per day. All right. And uh, that's, you know, a lot. I mean, that's like Keith Richards style from the Rolling Stones. You know, uh, <clears throat> so far my lungs are, are good. I've had a full physical and... Uh, you know, I'm just taking ownership of my, my health. Um, so that's what I'm going to have to go through. And uh, I won't be able to smoke these or this for several days. You know, that's going to be hard. So I looked up on the Internet, you know, and they suggested for someone uh, that smoked as long as I have uh, to get two nicotine patches. 21 milligrams a piece. Kelly, honey, get down. I love you so much. Here's Kelly. She wants to be on the camera. This is Kelly, the killer calico cat. She's getting bigger. Come on, look at the camera. Say hi. Yeah. Yep, she's the only one I have here. So anyways, uh, with that said, uh, I forgot where I was. She interrupted me. Women tend to do that get me distracted I, I don't know so anyways uh, so I have to go through that and I'm gonna have to uh, I'm not gonna be able to smoke if you smoke after a tooth in extraction and w when they're doing this it's very an invasive procedure it's actually surgery if you smoke you can end up with dry socket or it can make the infection really bad I mean they gave me special mouthwash that I have to use for 15 days. They gave me, uh, I don't know, amoxicillin, 500 milligrams that I have to take mass doses of, which is not good for you, all right? And uh, painkillers, which are uh, ibuprofen, all right? And if you do drink, you better, I mean, these are 600 milligrams. The dosage is huge. If you drink any alcohol, uh, make sure that if you take anything like ibuprofen or any painkiller over the counter or whatever, uh, take it with food or it can put holes in your stomach. Uh, so that that's what I'm facing. And I'm, <laughs> I'm a little afraid, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, uh, yeah, so this is part one of yeah, smoking and what it can do to affect your teeth. Yeah, and uh, hopefully it stops there with the four molars. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have to buy enough patches to, like, cover myself, all right? And I'm going to look like an Egyptian mummy. Yeah, <laughs> told that to my daughter. She's laughing. So, anyways, best thing is is to not smoke. Don't start. All right. If you want to have a bowl or two, 
of this, that's fine. But once you start this, that's like, oh, so hard to stop. It just, it's nagging. But maybe this experience will help me to give up the cigarettes. Uh, when uh, I was a kid, I was a thumb sucker. And when I was nine years old, I had to have my tonsils out and from tonsillitis. And I found that sucking my thumb, <coughs> I know that sounds strange <coughs> at nine years old, but the, you know, I, I still did. At night, I sucked my thumb. That, that's weird, all right? But that's, it's, it is what it is, all right? Uh, and when I had my tonsils out, I couldn't do that. Uh, and that kicked that habit. And actually today, this thumb is the one I used to suck my left thumb, all right, is still smaller than my right thumb. And I'm ambidextrous. Yeah, and that's because I sucked my thumb for nine years as a kid. Uh, you guys are probably thinking I'm weird or whatever now. So anyways, this is part one. Uh, like I said, uh, we'll do another follow-up video where I'm dripping blood out of my mouth and I got patches all over me, nicotine patches and so forth. And uh, We'll do part two uh, Monday, depending on how I'm feeling. Yeah, so anyways, uh, cheers. Oh, by the way, this whole experience, yes, I get to enjoy it twice, is only going to cost me 3000 American dollars. I do have dental insurance but it has a thousand dollar cap on it. Yeah, so I, I get to uh, in, have, uh, and in pounds that's converted to about 2,536 pence. Whatever, I, I looked it up, it's 2,500 pounds. UK, yeah. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. And in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy some uh, Robert McConnell Scottish blend that uh, I received on 7 of 2021. She's been tinned and I'm smoking, going to smoke it in my Viking morning pipe. Yeah. So we've gone on long enough about this. Um, just keep good oral health. Go get your teeth cleaned every six months if you smoke a pipe. Or if you smoke cigarettes, I don't care how much you brush your teeth or whatever, there's bacteria that get down in there from the nicotine. That's just my experience, and I'm passing it on to you younger ones so that, uh, you know, just heed my words. Uh, getting your teeth cleaned is no fun, all right? Just go get it done. Go every six months. Take care of your oral health, and then you're not going to have to go through what I'm about ready to experience and I'm kind of scared to death of it, but I'll try to be brave. Anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy, still live from Rochester, New York. Happy pipe smoking pipers over and out. And Brad, text me your address. I got some of that pressed RPG. I'll send you some. See ya.